Welcome to Belsil Central Parish Church. We continue to reflect on the I am statement of Jesus Christ. Today, we think on I am the vine as found in John Gospels. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. John 15, verse 5, King James Version. First thoughts. The image of a branch gaining all its sustenance and strength from the parent vine is a beautiful description of man's total dependence upon God without whom we can do nothing, for in him we live and move and have our being. When Jesus Christ, the Son of God, walked the earth, he demonstrated this truth, for he lived his entire life in utter dependence upon the Father. I can do nothing of myself, he said. I speak only that which I have seen from my Father. Though Jesus Christ was fully God, he lived his life in his humanity. Jesus lived as God intended man to live, in utter dependence upon God. Christ walked in spirit and truth, and only said and did those things that he heard from the Father. He demonstrated how man should live. He lived his life so that the life of God could be lived through the Son of Man in his humanity. Although Jesus Christ was fully God, he drew all his strength from his Father in heaven, demonstrating how you and I should live our lives as God's children, drawing all our strength from our Lord Jesus Christ, for without him we can do nothing. We are to walk in spirit and truth, and to do only those things that we hear from Christ our Saviour, so that his life may be lived in us and through us. Until we humbly confess that in and of ourselves we can do nothing, we will foolishly and unsuccessfully attempt to produce good fruit in our own strength. Let us meditate on this vital principle, that Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. We are to abide in him and allow his spirit to live his life through us, just as he abode in the Father, and did only those things that he heard from the Father. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Today's prayer. Heavenly Father, teach us how to abide in Christ, and he is in us. Teach us all to live our lives as you would have us, to live in total dependence upon you, which is the life of Christ being lived through us, so that we may produce the good fruit in our life that is honoring to you. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How deep the Father's love for us How vast beyond all measure That He should give His only Son To make a wretch His treasure how great the pain of searing loss the father turns his face away as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory Behold the man upon a cross, my sin 
upon his shoulder Ashamed I hear my mocking voice Call out among the scoffers It was my sin that held him there until it was accomplished His dying breath has brought me life I know that it is finished I will not boast in anything no gifts, no power, no wisdom But I will boast in Jesus Christ His death and resurrection Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer But this I know with all my heart His wounds have paid my ransom How great the pain of steering love the Father turns His face away As wounds which mar the Chosen One Bring many sons to glory It was my sin that held Him there until it was accomplished His dying breath has brought me life I know that it is finished Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer But this I know with all my heart His wounds have paid my ransom